Anytime you're dealing with options or configurations in code, things can get tricky really fast. So imagine you have some kind of object that takes in some configuration options and we apply the behavior for these configuration options via some if statements in the code. Now with a few options, like one or two options, this is fine, this is manageable, but let's see what happens when we add another configuration option. So let's add some sort of promotion option to our cart item. So a cart item can have a promotion applied and whenever we have a promotion, we get a $5 price discount and an additional warranty of 10 days. So let's add that configuration option. We're just gonna have a field for it. We're gonna take that field through the constructor, assign the field, and then apply the appropriate behavior depending on that field's value. So for the price, if we have a promotion, we subtract or yeah, we apply the discount and then we also extend the warranty based on the promotion. So as you can see, as you add more configuration options to your object, things could start to spiral out of control. So for one, if you care about solid principles, this is a clear violation of the open closed principle where a class should be open for extending but closed for modification and we clearly have modified this in order to add this new behavior but more practically principles aside as we add more configuration options this class could grow endlessly it could become gigantic and difficult to change another downside of this approach is that we have low cohesion between the configuration options and the behavior that the configuration option applies so as we can see the behavior for let's say the extended warranty is split between our two properties and it's mixed between all of the other configuration option behaviors. And in my opinion, this split and low cohesion makes it difficult to understand the entire implication of what an extended warranty does. Because again, it's spread out throughout this class. And ultimately we have complexity because we're mixing when we want to apply these different configuration options with the actual behavior of the configuration option. So in the end, we really need something that will scale better as we add more configuration options. So this is where we get into configuration via polymorphism. So in other words, we could extract some sort of I cart item interface and the underlying object of that interface will automatically apply the respective configuration options that we want. We only have an extended warranty cart item or a promotion cart item and adding another configuration option would involve just creating a new cart item. So we could have like a percent discount cart item as well. Now, rather than me yapping on and on about it, let's go ahead and implement it. Let's implement configuration via polymorphism. So as I mentioned, the first step is we need to extract an interface. And of course, that is the first step if we want to achieve any sort of polymorphism. Let me just throw in the definition of polymorphism. So it literally means, I think, many types. So since we're having an interface here, this interface could be implemented by many types. So whenever we have this I cart item interface, it could be one of many types. It could be our regular cart item. It could be our promotion cart item, etc. So we'll see that in action. Let's go ahead and extract our interface here. And we want our I cart item to have a name, price, and warranty days, because those are the key elements of our cart item. So there we go, it looks good. So now let's get into implementing our different configuration options via implementing this interface. So we're gonna create another class that's gonna represent the aspect of applying our configuration option to a cart item. So we're essentially gonna be decorating our cart item with the appropriate configuration behavior. So yes, this will literally be an example of the decorator design pattern. So let's create our first configuration option class. This will be the extended warranty cart item. Let's implement our interface here. And now again, this is an example of the decorator pattern here. And really what we're doing is applying the extended warranty behavior to a cart item. So in order to do that, we're gonna need some sort of cart item to apply this behavior to. So we're gonna take an I cart item through the constructor here. And again, that'll be the cart item that we apply this additional extended warranty behavior to. So for the cart item name, we're not doing anything special here. We're just gonna do a little pass through to the base cart item name because the extended warranty behavior doesn't do anything with the name. The only thing we're gonna manipulate is the price and warranty days. So let's grab that behavior out of our old cart item. So the extended warranty price and additional days, let's cut those out 
we don't need them there let's redefine those constants here and now let's apply them so for the price we want to apply our extended warranty price to the base cart item price so that's just simple addition here let's add the extended warranty price to the base price and same kind of thing for the warranty days so we're going to take the warranty days on the base cart item and apply the extended warranty additional days and now we can completely remove that behavior from our base cart item so we're going to simplify this get rid of this old configuration approach that could grow endlessly and there we go it looks good so now real quick let's do the same exact thing for our other configuration option for having a promotion so again same exact thing we're going to create a new item here for the configuration option this will be the promotion cart item and it's really going to be the exact same approach as what we did for the extended warranty cart item so i'm going to do that off camera real quick and we'll take a look at it so here we go pretty much the same exact thing we got our constants in here related to the promotion we get the cart item that we want to decorate and then we apply the appropriate behavior but we take a discount and then we add additional days to the warranty and now the exciting part i didn't do this off camera because this will be the grand simplification of the cart item class so we're going to clean this up get rid of all of our configuration options now so no more promotion stuff let's remove that and this related to the warranty and we don't need the flag passed in here as well and now looking at these properties these don't really do anything special now so we can just make them regular getters and we can just straight up set the price to the price that gets passed through the constructor so no longer need that field and our warranty days property can just return the base warranty days so look at that we can already tell this is a lot simpler and moving forward it's going to be much easier to add configuration options where we don't need to endlessly add behavior to this single cart item class instead we can just decorate it with additional behavior so going back to the drawbacks of the old approach we're no longer violating the open close principle because we don't have to literally modify our cart item class in order to extend it with additional behavior and also look how cohesive the behavior of the extended warranty option is so we can just literally look at this extended warranty cart item class and quickly get an understanding of what an extended warranty entails so we can look at these properties oh well we add this extended warranty price to the base price okay that makes sense and then we add additional warranty days so very cohesive everything in this class is strictly related to the extended warranty behavior so pretty exciting and then the other drawback i mentioned is that before we were mixing when we apply the configuration option with the actual behavior of the configuration option and as you can see that's separated now so all the behavior is tucked away in the separate decorator classes but let's look at how we apply this behavior because this isn't actually going to be as fun as we might think so first off i need to update all of this test code to use our decorators so this one previously was just for a regular cart item because both of our configuration flags were false this second one was for the extended warranty because this first flag was true so let's apply the extended warranty behavior to this cart item and what that means is we need to wrap it as an extended warranty cart item so okay not too bad but now let's look at this last option so this was the extended warranty cart item and the promotion cart item so let's apply that so let's wrap it as the extended warranty cart item as well as the promotion cart item and there we go so this is how we apply our different configuration options but it's not pretty at all so we have to know that these classes exist in order to actually apply the configurations so not really easy to discover these different cart items in my opinion and it's also very tedious to wrap these cart items over and over and over again in various different places so what if we had a single class that allowed us to create a cart item and also made it more discoverable of all of the different configuration options that were available when we're creating our cart item in other words what if we had something that made it easier to create these complicated cart items and this is where the builder pattern comes in so we could have a builder that creates cart items and exposes methods for the various ways that we can configure a cart item so let's create some sort of cart item builder let's add this class and ultimately we want to build some sort of i cart item so we'll have a build method on here and then we also want methods to 
configure the cart item that we want to build. So we're going to have something like a with promotion method that specifies that we'd like to build a cart item that applies our promotion. And then maybe another method for applying the extended warranty configuration option. And then in order to build any cart item, we're going to need the name of the cart item as well as the price of the cart item. So we're going to get those through the constructor so that we're essentially saying these are required to build a cart item. These aren't optional configurations that we can wrap in methods. So let's take a look at how we would use this interface. So let's go back to our program.cs and let's initialize a cart item builder for our skateboard. And we want our cart item to have an extended warranty and have a promotion. And then we simply want to build it. So it looks good. So this cart item builder allows us to discover all of the different configuration options and eventually build the cart item that we want. So now we just need to implement it. So whenever we call with extended warranty, we just wanna store a Boolean for wanting the extended warranty. So we're just gonna set that flag to true. And then same sort of thing for with promotion. We're gonna have a flag for that as well. And then set it to true whenever we call this method. So now the build method becomes pretty straightforward. So we start off with our cart item, which by default is gonna be the base cart item. We can pass in the name and price for the cart item since we got those through the constructor. And now we simply decorate this cart item based off the value of these flags. So if we want an extended warranty, then we wrap our cart item with the extended warranty cart item. And then same exact thing for the other configuration option. So if with promotion is true, we wrap it with the promotion cart item. And then lastly, just return the cart item. So there we go. Let's actually test this out. Let's remove the old cart item creation lines and just use the single one. So we should have an extended warranty and a promotion. Let's run this. And there we go. It looks like both of those different options were applied because we added the $10 for the extended warranty and then subtracted $5 for the promotion. So it looks good. But there's one last thing that we could do better. And if you're familiar with the builder pattern, you're probably screaming at me to do this. And that is that we could make this builder a fluent builder. So for example, we could turn it into something where we can chain these configuration options together. So we could call with extended warranty and then tap on with promotion and then build the final car item based off of these different methods that we called. Well, we can't do that now because all of these different configuration methods return void, but all we have to do is return this. So just return the cart item builder, and then we can continue to call methods on it and continue to configure it. And we get the same exact thing. Boom. There we go. So just to summarize, again, we're no longer violating the open close principle on our cart item because we don't need to explicitly modify this class in order to add more behavior, we can instead extend it by implementing another version of our I cart item interface as we did for our different configuration options. So this cart item class won't grow massive and out of control with more configuration options. We also have high cohesion between the behavior of our different configuration options, which as we can see here, the behavior is really side by side and easy to find and discover. And lastly, we have separation between when we apply our different configuration options and the behavior of the configuration options. So as we can see, our classes have the behavior of the configuration options and our builder has the behavior of when we want to apply the configuration options. And as we can see, having that separation, in my opinion, is much simpler and easier to comprehend. So hopefully you can apply this to your own application to make configuration easier and more extendable.